Hello, and welcome to my Let's Play of Resident Evil Director's Cut. Um, I'm just going to talk about Resident Evil for a second before I begin. Uh, this is what's called a survival horror game. And what that means is basically you're put in a situation where you got to survive through some type of horrific ordeal. And in this case, it's like zombies, like right out of a zombie movie. And uh, what makes these kind of games interesting is that you're very limited on what resources you have, like weapons and such. Um, you're given only a certain amount of weapons uh, and ammo throughout the game, so you, at times you really need to conserve conserve your ammo and such in order to be able to survive. Just like you would in the real world. You know, in the real world you don't have... You found a shotgun, you know, and, and you're surrounded by zombies, you might only have like 10 shotgun shells. What do you do? You know, that's kind of like what this is. So, uh, of course in the real world there aren't zombies, but that's beside the point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and sync the audio here. Now, figure that might work. Okay, starting a new game here. You get to choose between two people, Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. We're going to go with Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield can take more hits than Jill, but he, can ho he, he, ha he holds less items than Jill. So that's the trade-off. And Chris's game is considered to be more difficult since um, Jill starts with a, with a lock pick to be able to pick locks, and you don't. You have to find keys scattered throughout the game. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. Everyone's acting is pretty good until we get why. to Chris here. Over, well, past her. Now look at Chris's face. <laughs> I always thought that was kind of funny. Don't go! <laughs> That's some bad acting. These guys probably got paid a hundred dollars a piece. <laughs> something really low like that. I mean, this is a video game. You don't pay your actors like you would in a movie. You know what I'm saying? Jill, run for that house! <laughs> oh, so they're running, running into this mansion here. Away from these dogs. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Cass, listen to the serious music. Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield. <laughs> Look at that hair. Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine. Barry. Yeah, I like Barry Barry. He's probably the coolest character in this whole game. Rebecca now, when she like 18, what is she doing with some type of SWAT team? You know what I'm saying? Wesker. Elba Wesker. Is that Val Kilmer? No. It's not. They should have cast Val Kilmer though. It would have been pretty cool. But they probably couldn't afford him. They have escaped into the mansion. 
where they thought it was safe. Yet... Hmm. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? I don't know. Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. Gunshot. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. You do that. Well, I'll go check. Chris? Yes? Take care. Oh, thank you. That was sweet of you to say. Bye bye. Yay. Loading screen. I'm playing this on my PS3 through the PSN, uh, the PSN uh, download for this game. But this game used to be a CD-based game, so there's going to be loading screens just like, just like it used to be. Alrighty. Let me get that emblem. Let's go over here and find out what this gunshot was. La 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 la. Alrighty. Let's see what that gunshot was. Oh dear. Oh dear. That can't be good. Oh, get a facial, man. Ah, zombie! Run. No, I'm not really running, I'm just walking, because, well, he walks. And I can basically outwalk him. Why don't you turn around so I can go around you? Yeah, like that. No, 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 turn around. Ch turn. No, turn around. Turn, turn around. No, turn around. Dude, you're not listening to me. There you go. Turn around like that. Thank you. Crazy zombie, don't listen. He's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. All right, let's let's get some clips here. Will you take the clip? Yes, I will. Oh, what what else? Ooh, will you take the clip? Yes, I will. I like clips because like they keep me alive and stuff. All right, let's. Oh, sorry, buddy, but I can't stick around to play anymore. I gotta go. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I mean, I would sit and chat, you know, but I, I gotta go talk to Jill. See and see what Jill and Wesker's doing. La la la. la. Uh oh, where they go? Why don't they just up and leave? What's with that? It's not nice. Wesker, it's Jill. Wesker, Jill. Hmm. Man. Playing games. What happened to Jill and Wesker? I don't know, buddy. Tell you what, though, you should pick up the gun. Yes, that gun. It's Jill's gun. It's Jill's gun with exclamation point. It's Jill's gun. Will you take the Beretta? Uh, yes, I will. Beretta's, Beretta's a. Well, it's a gun. Any gun is cool right now because they got these zombies trying to kill me. You know? You take what you get. Life gives you pistols, you make uh, pistols. Okay, moving on. See that thing in that in that vase on the statue? We gotta get that. Well, we don't we don't have to get that, but I want that because it helps. It's a map of first floor. Will you take it? Yes, I will. You got the map of first floor. It's very uh very helpful for the game to mention that I actually took it. Even though I see me taking it, but whatever. Let's go this way, to this room here. Ooh, a zombie on the floor. Gotta love zombies on the floor. Let's go this way. Ooh, sure. I'll take that ink ribbon. Oh, and by the way, ink ribbons allow you to save your game. But you only limited a certain amount of ink ribbons throughout the game. So, you gotta be careful that you don't save too much or you can run out of saves. Let's kill the zombie who's on the floor. He, he, was, he was trying to trick me. I mean, he really was trying to trick me. Uh, he's trying to turn around. So 
he can grab my feet and and chew on my feet. Of course, I don't like being chewed on by anything, for that matter. Oh, let's go check this door. It's locked. The carving of a sword. Right. Oh yeah, I forget. I can't do the turn around thing. That don't work in this game. Let's get out of here. Now we got now the whole first floor that I have access to is explored because this door is a uh, armor. Yep. And then in the hall where I met my first zombie, there's a couple doors that I can't access yet. So uh, I got to go upstairs here. And I like to go to the right first because because I like to basically I like to do everything I possibly can before I can access more. It's just that's just the way I am with games. I'm very methodical. Let's see. So we enter this room. Mm. Check that out. Oh, oh, hey. Uh, my I was blocking my view to you. Myself, I was. Never mind. Just die. Don't come any closer. Stand back. Good man. I mean, you know, whatever. It's locked. The carving of an armor. It's locked. The carving of an armor. Hello. Let me. Yeah. Great. I, I don't want to have to kill you if I don't have to. Ooh. Ooh. There's. That was my opportunity. Oh, I still had it. <laughs> I thought I thought he was gonna get me there. That's the, that's the trick to this game. If you can avoid a zombie, you avoid them. Period. Don't waste ammo. If you don't have to use ammo, don't use it. It's just that simple. What's this? Nothing uncommon. I want to check everything, like I'm doing right now. Let's uh, see what this is. Botany book about medicinal herbs. Check check it out. As you may know, there are many plants that have medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of those plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength. The blue one neutralizes natural toxins, while the red herb does not have any effect by itself. The red herb is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs. For example, if you mix this... If you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be triple. Basically, if you mix a green herb and a red herb, uh, it heals all your life, no matter what your life is. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. I thought reading books was the best way to acquire true knowledge. Oh well. It's well arranged. <laughs> When you when you go ahead and look at a bookshelf, is that what you check for to see if it's well arranged or not? I wouldn't. I'd check to see if there's any inter interesting books. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you unlocked it. That's fine. Let's go ahead and check this out. Whoa, buddy. Uh oh. Yeah. Maybe I can shoot you guys from down here. I don't know that game ain't letting me aim. I'll, I'll try one bullet. Yeah, that didn't work. I'll try one more. Yeah, that didn't work. I'm wasting bullets. I'm gonna just have to forget about those zombies for right now. Wait up, I might be able to just... Ah, just forget it for right now. I'll go back up and deal with them in a second. After I go ahead and empty my pockets. This has a save room down here. You know what? Ugh. Oh yeah, it won't fit. You can't carry any more items. Alright, it's fine. Let's go in here. Alright. Let's go ahead and empty empty everything out now. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of the knife. Don't need the knife. Let's get a clip and a clip. Let's go ahead and combine all that. The game should do that for you automatically, but it doesn't. It doesn't, even though it should. 